Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, March 3. Snowing outside, bungy inside. Uh, we're working on the 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Sportsman. And uh, John today, earlier this morning, began doing some test sanding on the port stop top sides. And as you can see, uh, we're not sanding anymore, so I'll hand it off to John so that he can talk about why we are uh, putting all these bungs in and what's behind them. Take it away, John. Well, when I started sanding, I quickly realized that some of these boards, uh, one side of the seam is proud of the other board on the other side of the seam. Therefore, figuring out that the fasteners um, had lost their grip, so they weren't holding the boards very tight. So what I did was I took out the old bones, uh, refastened the boards, tightened them up a little bit, and uh, taped it off so that the gorilla glue wouldn't be all over the side of the boat. You had to and you had to put in some new screws in some yeah, places, put right? Put in new fasteners. Yeah. Let Let me just jump in here. This is a lesson for all of us. These, if, if you look at these bungs. They look fine, and I, I was the one, I was the guy that did all the stripping, and I, they look fine, so I didn't pay much attention. John got out the uh, one of our probes and discovered that also that a whole bunch of these bungs just fell out. I mean, they they were they were gone. Uh, so I'll hand it back, John. Yeah, the um, the wood bungs, I popped them out and I replaced the fasteners. Um, that was the only way I could actually tighten up the boards. And then, of course, we have places where we have boards need some, a little bit of repair. I'll use some um, mahogany thick so epoxy when I um, fix these little cracks so that they won't be noticeable. And there's a few of them. Then we have, after I get these bungs in and cleaned up a little bit and then I can run a router on the side of the boat. And I have uh, I think four Dutchmans on this side of the boat to do. They aren't very big but we got to get the filler out of them and put in some wood so that they don't have big fillers and gouges on the side of the boat. Hey John, I, I noticed that the uh, trim rail on the gunnel is gone. Yes, this, this trim rail actually has some issues and it needs some work. This is the trim rail from this side of the boat and as you can see right there there's a nasty part that needs some work. I'll probably put a Dutchman on that. In the end of six inches of this one is broke right off. I'll actually have to extend it with a tapered piece on the end about six more inches. There's one more bad spot on this one also. The, the rail actually isn't in that bad shape. There's a couple of spots that need little Dutchman. This one needs a smaller Dutchman than the other part. And the, the aft end, was, um, is it okay or is it just the starboard the, side that's bad? It's the other side that the aft side, the aft end was real bad. But this one here behind it we found was in pretty good shape. The other one, unfortunately, um, someone had done a Dutchman previous in the back corner of the other side, so that's why we had to take them off because I noticed that it needs some work behind them. So it's rotted behind it. Right. And actually, the rails rotted at the last six inches right. or so. On the rails are badly side, rotted. Yes. Yeah. So the other one needs a little work also. So. This reminds us, details, 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 when you're preserving a wood boat. Uh, a lot of us would have just gotten out the longboard sander. Bungs look good. Why not just go for it? Well, fortunately, John pays attention to detail, and we do too here at Snake Mountain Boat Works. So we will continue working down the uh, port side, and then once it's it's ready and sanded and bunged and refastened and the uh, trim rail is uh, all finished then we'll move to the starboard side where 
there's at least as much work to do. I think there are more Dutchmen on the other side, John, some bigger ones. Yeah, I think there is. So that's where we are on Friday, March 3rd. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.